Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of simplifying expressions, specifically, how we can simplify larger expressions using integer operations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we see an expression here on the screen, and we should immediately be thinking order of operations. And so before we start thinking about what happens when you multiply by negative or subtract a negative, we need to be thinking about our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right, so that's going to be, we're going to deal with our parentheses first, and we actually have two sets of parentheses. We have this parentheses right here, and then this larger bracket, which acts as an outer set of parentheses. We're going to have to deal with those first. We have no exponents to deal with in this particular problem. One thing I always want to make sure we understand is that multiplication and division are inverse operations, which means they're equal. They could be done in either order, left to right. Same with addition and subtraction. So that means you can subtract before you add. If you come to it first, left to right. Same with the division. You can divide before you multiply. If you come first to it, left to right. So let's deal with our parentheses first. We have this larger bracket, which covers most of the expression, which means this plus 18 is coming at the very end. We'll just add 18 to whatever it comes out of this bracket, and that will be the simplified version. So we have to deal with the parentheses inside the parentheses. So we need to do this negative 4 times 6, right? So we're going to do two things. First, we're going to think of just our basic fact. What is 4 times 6? 4 times 6 is 24. Now, it doesn't say it, but the fact that it doesn't have anything next to it implies that that 6 is a positive. And what we need to remember is that when we multiply or divide a positive and a negative together, the answer is always going to be negative. And it could be in either order. It could be a negative, positive, positive, negative. Those two opposites always result in a negative. So this is going to end up being a negative 24. So let's rewrite. We'll go ahead and keep that bracket there. Now that's why we have this parentheses, right? 3 minus negative 24. That just looks weird. So we put a parentheses there just to separate the, the two negatives. We still have to divide by negative 12. And then the plus 18 is just waiting at the end. Now, we're not going to subtract negative 24 here. Because think of order of operations. What do we have? We have a subtraction. We also have division. And which one do we do first? We always do division first. So our next operation here is actually negative 24 divided by negative 12. So just because we have a negative and a positive and positive and negative, those go into negative. Hopefully that reminds you of what happens when we have two of the same. So most of the numbers we ever started so dividing were both positive. We didn't know it, but they were both positive. Back in the third grade and the fourth grade, we always dealt with positive numbers. Those always end in positive. But two negatives are opposites, right? If they're the same kind, they actually cancel each other out. They also turn into a positive. So this is really, think, 24 divided by 12. You can think of it that way. You can think of it as a fraction. Right? Hopefully you're thinking 12 times what makes 24. If you want to use multiplication to solve a division problem, that's fine. The answer is 2. But it's negative divided by negative, which means it's going to end up being a positive 2. So this ends up being 3 minus... I can drop the parentheses because now it's a positive 2. So I'll put the parentheses right there so you see that I've made it a positive 2. This minus is not a negative 2. It's from the original subtraction. So we can keep that there if you want, but you don't really need it anymore. And we're almost down to the plus 18. So this is just 3 minus 2. So 3 minus 2 is pretty basic. So I've got a 1, and we can keep the brackets if you want, but we really don't need it anymore. So we took these two right here, got it down to the 1, and so 1 plus 18. So we did all of this work. This whole bracket right here it just simplified to 1. So it's a lot of work for 1. And then we just need to add the 2, 1 and 18. And there we go. This whole expression simplifies to 19. 